Greetings! It's me, Firebee, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Reber. Last time, I believe I did a run with Samson to the chest, and it was won by the very skin of my teeth. This time, uh, let's see. Let's go with Lazarus. Lazarus hasn't gone up. Lazarus is essentially Isaac, but with an extra life and a pill. That's pretty much it. And no D6. That, that's pretty much it. Unless there's something different in his luck stat or something that I don't, that I can't tell. Nah, it looks about the same. So we got Gimpy. Gimpy's pretty neat. No, 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 not that one. That one. Let's see what this pill is. Lemon party! I very rarely try out new pills in a actually fighting time. Very rarely. Okay. Infestation, not bad. So when I get hit, I can spawn flies. I think that's how that's, this one goes. It is pretty easy to, because I know there's one where you spawn flies from being hit, and there's one where you spawn flies from hitting, and it's very easy to mix up the two. Hopefully I haven't in this case. Pin! Hello, Pin. Finn is a fairly easy boss, since it just follows a fairly simple pattern. Come out of the ground, come towards you. Occasionally he sticks his head up like this, and then shoots bomb. And then it comes at you again. They've given him a lot more health than he had in the original, but, uh... Or than it had, I guess. But, uh... It's still a fairly simple fight. If you have piercing, it makes this fight pretty cheap. Because it'll hit all of his segments at once. I would then follow up that statement by saying that Azazel's little brimstone makes this fight a joke, but then again, Azazel pretty much makes a lot of the early and some of the late game a joke. Alright. That's odd. I'm not used to getting little Steven from anything other than the Steven fight. It's very strange to be getting it now. But I'll take it. Little Steven follows us around and shoots uh, homing tears. And it's a basement. That's good. Curse of the Maze, less good, but I'll take it. Oh good, Sloth. That's, a, that's exactly what I wanted right now. Come here, Sloth. I need some soul hearts, but I need to not get hit by this. I didn't see any... Ah, uh, I believe a fortune card. I didn't see any tinted rocks on the last floor. But it didn't look incredibly hard. Both of these are champion versions. That's no fun. I do not like how fast that these spiders move. Yeah, give a different color of heart if you would, please. Darn. Nope. If I have to, I'll let little Steven handle that. Oh, nice. Daddy long legs. Not bad at all. And you'll notice there's a little shadow shadow following us around. It's a little harder to see. And uh it'll it'll quite happily come down on enemies and do damage to them. It's pretty neat. And if you get it with the gnawed leaf, then you can pretty much say a slow goodbye to the entire rest of the game, really. 
I, I like how you're having this joke at my expense game. It is incredibly funny. There's Curse of the Maze. And again. There we go. I wonder if they fixed the uh, the bug where the leg didn't come down more than once during the uh, Isaac and Blue Baby fights. Because I know that was a bug in the original that they couldn't fix. Just because it was too much stuff in there. They, they literally could not put more files in. So I'm quite glad that they made this. Oh, you little shit. Well, okay, there's my soul heart. Kind of didn't want it in that circumstance. I'd rather have not taken red heart damage. It's all the same with you. But, uh, okay. And no bombs, either. Alright, sure. Hey, it's Dingle! Fuck Dingle. Yeah, I think... I think the foot does, uh, 40 damage. Per stomp. A lot of things in the game do 40 damage. Like the Necronomicon... Uh, death cards, foot, if you deplete a black heart, a lot of things do 40 damage to enemies. Damn, that one hit, that one fucking hit, deprived me of my devil deal. And I still don't have any bombs. Okay. To the next floor. To the catac yeah, catacombs, I thought so. And I can't see my health, that's actually one of my least favorite curses. That's interesting, the foot has a hitbox after it stomps, so if things run into it, they take damage. Huh. What's this bill? Balls of steel. Not even bad. So that's three soul hearts I have now. I don't like this room much. Alright. What's up this way? Oh, thank goodness for the foot. Making this so much easier. I don't know whether it stomps on the thing with the highest health, like, uh... Like a lot of the things do, where they shoot for the thing with the highest amount of HP left. But uh, if it does, that's pretty nice. Spoonbender, homing shots. Now we're both homing. Which makes little Steven a little bit unnecessary, but I'll still take him along. Not that I have a choice in the matter, really. You, you, uh, you missed. You got that one, though. Alright. The Huss. Definitely want to take care of this before I start losing health on the floor. I may consider going to the curse room after this. May is the keyword. Um, yeah, we'll take an HP up. Hey, it's Krampus. Damn it, Krampus! I guess I'm in line for getting angel rooms. Which is fine, because I, I do need to complete the key in order to do at least one of the challenges in the game. I think two of the challenges require me to get the key first. Alright. I mean, that's my first space bar item, so... I guess I'll save it for bosses. I'll come back for the eternal heart there. I do have one bomb. I'm really surprised. 
Let's see. I believe the secret room could be right here. It could be in the next little bit over. It probably is. No, it can't be here. Hmm. I wonder where it is. Uh, let's see what's in my curse room. I'll take it. And since they heal half soul hearts, I was left with half of a heart there. And I guess from walking both ways to the door, taking that damage spawn the flies. Alright. I'm alright with that, actually. I am more than alright with that. Since flies do twice your damage. To the next floor! Caves 2. I have 5 hearts. And 4 soul hearts. Of all sorts. Not a terrible combination. Large rooms are always a good bet for finding special rooms just because there's so many rooms that can attach to them. Yeah, 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 growl away, throw your bones. Thank you. Oh, a soul heart dropping. How nice, game. How nice are you being? Alright. SMB super fan. All stats up. And now, in case... Uh... In case Super Meat Boy wasn't done in the cube, that would be what we look like. Give or take. It's Isaac's reimagination of it, at least. Spoonbender is really good in this game. I say as I get hit with things that I really could have dodged and still hit them with. Alright, thank you. Gladly take that. We'll see what's in this room. There's a curse room there. Which I think I'll go into. Another bomb. We'll bomb right here. It's not there. Okay. Oh, good thing I saved the bomb. Stick that right in there. Yeah, that's, that's about my normal luck. Pop four of the fires, get no soul hearts at all. And a super troll bomb. Thanks, game. I think you're kind of neat, too. No need to go to that room. Let's just find the boss room, really. Which I suspect is in the opposite direction. room would be really bad if you didn't have any range. Yes, yes. Thanks for putting your drop in the middle on top. Where nobody can get to it except for those that are flying. Thanks. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Ooh. The shop's now viable. Nah, I can't... The foot can't go for the thing that's most... That has the most health. That wouldn't make sense at this point. Must just go for the thing that's closest or whatever I'm shooting at, perhaps? I don't know. Probably what's closest. Alright. Uh jeez. BFF is pretty nice. Uh, I'll save my money for now and see. Yeah, maybe it's just whichever one I'm shooting at last. Fuck you. 
Yeah, it looks like it. Alright. What is over this way? Hey, the boss room! I'm not even gonna bother with any of that. Even though five cents could help me a bit. I detest Mega Fatty, by the way. I'm okay with that jump. I don't like the short jumps that he does. Ew. Don't do that. That's rude. Do you have any idea how rude you're being, Mega Fatty? It is hella rude. Alright, we'll take the screw. Tears and shot speed. And in here is... More red chests. The game adamantly... D continues to give me devil rooms. That was a 50% chance, by the way. But refuses to give me any deals in them. I'll take that, though. Oh, no. I'm gonna do it. I, I've i done this before, and it's ended really badly for me, but fuck it. Gonna do it anyway. No, I wanted to place a bomb right there. Yes, I know I would have been far better served by holding on to that. By holding on to my health. But, guppy piece. If I get guppy, I, I pretty much have the run. Close to it. I mean, not exactly, but it's... It's close. We'll get BFF. Because that's pretty good to have. Makes all the familiars larger. Including the cat head. It doesn't really do anything. Then, but, you know, it's there. For moral support. But the main thing is that, uh, little Steven now does twice as much damage as he did before. And any other familiars I may pick up will also do twice as much damage as they would before. Which is, you know, fairly nice. Eddie Longlegs is doing a lot for this run. I don't know. One more. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna do that. There's one more, I think. If not two, but I think that was worth it. I could have used that last floor. I don't know why I didn't think to. Could have used that and made the mega fatty fight so much easier. Didn't uh, didn't think of it. Oh, well now. I see. Yes. Holy mantle. So now I can get hit once in every room and not care. That. Bet I got this a little bit further down. If I'd gotten this about two floors earlier, I would have been happier. Because I still need to get the achievement for taking no damage in the caves. Despite the fact that I have it in most of the other floors. But I still need to get it in the caves. But uh, it's a little bit late now. At best I'd get the one for the depths. And I think I already have that one. I could be wrong. Uh, that's not worth a bomb right now. That's not worth a key right now. Okay. We'll bomb here in case... Alright. It's greed! Well, I know the greed's not in the shop, but that doesn't really help me. Alright, steam sale. 
speed down. Thanks, game. Nice to know you're looking out after me. Uh, I may as well take a peek. And see what I'm missing out on, really. Uh, the battery would be nice. I'll probably opt for the soul heart, though. Considering my health situation. The battery would let me overcharge the... Would let me overcharge Krampus' head, so that, uh... I could have two charges on it. It's pretty good on items that you don't use incredibly often. Because then you're not wasting rooms, wasting charges on it. Because you're just getting more. Get out of here. Alright, another key. And boss time. The adversary. Definitely gonna use this there. Look at that. There's a reason that they nerfed Krampus' head, and that is it. Tears and shot speed. Also a reddish tint on our tears. I'm really surprised I didn't get a deal of any kind here. Because I should still be at the full chance for it. Unless Krampus reduces it? No, I don't think it does. I think I pretty much just got cheated out of it. By nothing in particular. Hmm. Oh well. To the next floor. We'll pretty much be guaranteed one there. As long as I don't take red heart damage. Curse of the Lost. I dislike this curse quite a bit. It's one of my least favorites, actually. Alright, three of you. Four of you. Oh, I forgot. With BFF, that means that... Ooh. That means that the foot's doing more damage, too. Oh, that was absolutely an excellent buy. Uh, I'm gonna open all these, because they could be good things. When I said good things, I didn't really mean that. I'm gonna do it. Yes, I know I don't have a good build. Doing it anyway. Crud, it's the red-robed one. Now I can take a hit. At least one hit. And can also do a fair bit of damage with the foot. As well as my tears being alright. I suppose I could have waited for a Krampus' head charge. To do this. But I didn't know I'd be teleported. I kind of hoped for it. But I didn't know. I thought I be would be getting a devil deal though. Okay. So now I've gotten key piece two, which means that I've seen both parts of the key. However, for the unlock I want, I need to actually get both parts of the key in that run. So the next deity room, we'll call it that for now, I get has to be an angel room, and then I will get the thing I need. Also. I pretty much managed to cheat this room out. Speed down. Unknown, I'm just gonna take the Wheel of Fortune. Phil's have not been of my friend recently. Oh no, there's my hit for the room. Whatever will I do? Oh, this is not a fun room. Huh, that's interesting. Considers that the chubs that they throw out to be enemies of their own.
Which, I mean, I guess they are, but it makes using the foot on them kind of difficult. Alright, let's see if we can't find our item room on this floor somewhere. I'm guessing over this way. Oh, good. This sounds like fun. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna wait. I think I'm gonna wait. I can let the foot do my work for me. One more left in there. I suppose I'll pop the fires while I'm waiting. The foot ought to get it this time. There we go. I quite highly detest those enemies. With their turning invisible and such, this early does not make for a fun fight. Uh, let's head down this way. Oh, you think I cared about that? I didn't. Thought I felt something tickle. Certainly didn't feel damage. You thought you had me, you were absolutely wrong. Little slow, little slow. Oh boy, two of these guys. No, 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 get out. Room full of these guys, not too bad. Especially when that happens. I don't know why I got hit by, but I got hit by something. If I get a bunch of bombs, I'll consider it. Hey, Chub! Wow, that was a lot of damage. It hit all the segments. Or went through all the segments, rather. I could, uh... Quite happily take some damage up right now, though. That'd be terrific. And there is a tinted rock right here. You can barely see the X on him. And I got back what I paid. So I consider that worth it. Uh, not gonna go in there quite yet. Not quite yet, because I haven't found my item room yet. But, I need to keep in mind that that's where the boss room is. Alright. Have I gone up? Yes, I have. I've already been there. So it must be up from here? There's a door up here? No. Okay. Maybe I've just been going the wrong way the whole time. It's hard to tell without a map. It's surprisingly how it's surprising how bad I do without a map. Let's be down here somewhere then. And I'm certainly not gonna check for a uh, secret room, just because I'm already terrible at figuring out the locations of those with a map. Without a map, I would have no clue. Get out of here, you. There we go. Alright. A bomb. I might consider that. Alright, that that worked out. Oh, 
I wonder if the foot damages you if you walk, or if it hits you accidentally. I suspect it's something I don't want to find out. Alright, this is again the wrong way to the item room. Thank you. Any tinted rocks here? No, not gonna waste the key. That room can be hard to get through. Oh good, these guys so early? Wow. Uh, yes. Yes, please. Cancer essentially doubles your firing rate. If you have anything other than soy milk, it will double your firing rate, even going past the normal cure cap, I believe. So, I mean, it's pretty nice. There we go. The last room I go to... And it's the iron bar. Which makes some of our tears concussive. And they'll cause the enemy to walk around confusedly for a moment. It's not terrific. It exists, it's a thing, but it's not terrific. I think I can get all three of these with a bomb here. At the very least, two of them. Or at the very least, one. Thank you. These can give good things, but again, they can give crap. Two of clubs, sure. It's this one, the Emperor. Ah, uh, that'd be neat, but I'm gonna take the Wheel of Fortune with me. In case I'm in really dire straits. Or I get to the chest at which point this becomes an extra item. Just with the cost of one bomb. I'll place bombs there and there. Alright. One soul hat out of it. Not, not terrible. Not terrific, but not terrible. It's to the right and over. My sense of direction is not terrific. I will admit to that. And I've probably said as such before. Down this way. Down through here. And the... It's right there. Yeah, okay. Lazarus versus Mom. Isaac. Am I making the... I might just make it. Mm. Managed to hit three sides of it. If you if you hit all four, then you... Uh, I'm going up. No, I have to go through here. Um... Let's see, decisions. Two of these are bad. Fire mind is a thing. But I think Ipecac is what I'm gonna take. I don't recall if I've actually done this before, so. I'm going to trust in uh, homing Ipecac to unlock whatever gets unlocked here. I'm still working out exactly how Ipecac's hitbox works. As far as I can tell, it has a hitbox that extends all the way to the ground, despite the... Oh man, he took a hit already? Damn. Despite the shot height it has. Also, it looks like I've gotten a champion version of this boss fight. Oh, fuck you. Which makes me very happy. Also, I completely forgot I had Gimpy. Or at least a champion version of that one. 
I don't know whether it's the version of the entire boss fight though. Thank you. No, that, that's the champion version of the whole boss fight, I'm pretty sure. Huh. I guess it's just a random chance? I used to think that it was a chance if you had a champion version of Mom. But apparently, that's not necessarily the case. Also, speaking of Ipecac, I, uh, off-screen did the, uh, the Suicide King challenge. I haven't recorded a slight bit of it just without commentary because of some interesting stuff that happened during it. Uh, turns out that if you, if you get, a uh, wow, fuck you. Because that, that's the challenge with Ipecac, my reflection. Also, something about poison ruins that. Causes, uh... Causes Blastasis to just straight up die without splitting. Pretty nice. Uh... Right. Suicide King Challenge. That's the one with... Uh... Ipecac, my reflection, and some big damage up. Uh, turns out... Because I got the... Uh, which one was it? The Ringworm. The one that causes your tears to go in all sorts of crazy loops. That completely breaks the challenge. Like, you would not believe. Like, it d it no longer really comes back to you. Like, it kind of comes back to you. Oh, nice. But it kind of doesn't. And by kind of, I mean mostly doesn't. Uh, it... It tries to. But it does such crazy loops and such that it's really funny. And when it tries to come back to you, it just kind of swirls around you for a moment and then hits some other wall. Which is pretty nice. Uh, if I recall, I think I also got... In the... In fact, I think I, I picked up uh, homing gears in the boss rush on that run. Because that run goes all the way up to Isaac. Which is crazy. That's crazy how far it goes. I'll take that. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. Get out. I said, get out. Thank you. I'm kind of holding steady with health. Of course, that run was doing a lot more damage with my attack. But it was interesting. I think after picking up the ringworm, I only hit myself with my attack a grand total of three times. Uh, let's see. I think I also had... Oh, I, I picked up Tammy's head fairly early on, and I was like, oh, good. This seems like a horrific thing to have happen. But it actually turned out to be pretty good. Because it's just like, oh, hey, I got hit. Well, then I can just shoot 12 of these things and not care. And then I... Oh, yeah, I got a... I think in the caves, too, I got a chaos card. Which I ended up using against Isaac. I was going to save it in case shit got too real, and it turned out getting a little bit real. A little bit realer than I would have liked against Isaac. I did not be standing there. Hey, foot, if you could if you could hit the float, I'd be greatly appreciated of that. That'd be terrific. Not, not the heart. I don't care about the heart. Hit the float. The bloat's so much of a bigger threat. Fine, get out of here. This is not going well. Alright, bloat down. Didn't even give any kind of hearts. How rude can you be? Alright. Three more waves, I believe. Because there's two of the horsemen, and then there is 
uh, the Headless Horseman and the Fallen after this. After the four horsemen are here. Oh. That's not fun. Excuse me, get out of here. Leave. Flee this place. Come on. I need to stop getting hit. Like that, that's a constant mantra. For this run. Stop getting hit. Oh, I suppose I could... I can get rid of, uh... Okay, that was that was one of the silliest things I think I've seen in quite a while. The Fallen just instantly splitting. I can get rid of the Cancer Trinket. Swap it out for something else. Since you don't, uh, you don't really want to be firing very quickly with Ipecac, in my experience. The Miter! Yes. That makes a far higher chance for uh, Soul Hearts to drop from things. We'll very gladly take it. Look at how many red hearts are in here. The Dark Bum would be... It'd be doing something. Probably pretty happy about it. Alright. And the Angel Room closed, but I'm... Pretty sure this is the floor I gotta teleport to it, so I'm not worried. Uh, and I've apparently already done the boss rush since I didn't get a an unlock for it. That's fine. To the next floor. A little bit less health than I'd like to have at this point in the game, but I think my damage will. I think my damage will handle it. Yeah, I think my damage will handle it. What's in here? Not really. I still say I'm gonna get a, uh... I'm gonna get one of those mods to get rid of filter in here. I keep saying it every time, and every time I keep not doing it. But I think I really need to get on that if I want to actually... Near Soul Heart? No. If I really want to play the womb at full speed. Like, it, it's close to full speed, but it's, it's not. Not quite. Bible Tract, I'll take that. Faith up, I believe that's a higher chance of getting into uh, Angel Room. Which will be nice on the... Since it's the last chance for any kind of room. Any kind of deity room. And I'm still sitting at, I think, a 50% chance of either. Anything that'll push that up and give me a chance at, uh... At getting the full key will be good. Alright. No, I don't think so. That and I wasn't really using cancer at the moment. Having double the firing rate is not actually a good thing when it comes to Ipecac. Unless you have Pyromaniac, in which case go have fun with that. Have fun healing yourself with lots of Ipecac. That sounds like fun. One of these days, I'd like to get that. But, uh, I don't think that's happening anytime soon. I'm always very careful when shooting Ipecac downwards. It always seems to not really work quite right. Seems like it has a, a different range when shooting downwards. I think that's a holdover from the 
uh, from the challenge with the with having my reflection with it. Have to be careful in here. All right. So hard. Yes, please. Hey, middle stage dingles, get out of here. Big dingle, get out of here. Get out. Not even good. You're just a splitting dingle. Nobody even wants you. Another dingle. If you start singing at me, I will not let you survive the whole time. Despite that being my favorite part of that entire game. But uh, that, that's not really the point here. Well, that was weird. I, I think a secret room can be there. It might not be. It isn't. Thank you. All right, boss time. Loki! This is the last chance I get for any kind of deity room, and it didn't appear. Damn. Speed and range up, not bad. That's odd, I should have had more than a 100% chance. Because I didn't take red heart damage. I haven't had a deal, well... I don't know if angel rooms work have a lesser chance if you take one of their things. I, I don't know about that mechanic. I have the Bible tracked, so my faith is pretty up there, even though it's a hidden stat, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why I didn't get anything. But, uh, oh well. Maybe I'll get a Joker card. Not on the next floor. If I had a Joker card, I'd use it in the Cathedral, probably. Because in this floor, it's just going to be a way up to the Cathedral. Which would be a waste. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the hitbox just goes all the way down to the ground regardless of shot height. So heart. Now I'm half away from having full health. That's pretty nice. Well, okay. I'll take an infinite key. And I'll definitely go into that curse room there, since I have free access. Considering I have the mantle. Alright. What is this pill? Have I had it before? Balls of steel. Oh man. So if I take three hits of damage, I can come back for that. Essentially. I will bomb right there, because I'm pretty sure a secret room can be there. It isn't, but it could be. Why wasn't it? Ah, this room. This room is why it wasn't. I have infinite keys, so I can unlock these. That is a really weird feeling to not be able to pick up soul hearts. Just because I have so much health. The miter is certainly paying off, that's for sure. Oh no, I got hit. Whatever will I do? Wow, that is really weird when they try to find a place to fit into the ground. Alright, bumps are time. Yes, mother. I am killing myself in the past. How I stay alive after this is some weird paradox thing. Oh no, I took a hit in the room. Whatever will I do? 
Oh no, I actually took damage. Eh, it doesn't matter. Going up. One of these days I will go down to the dark room, but that room that's pretty much balanced around being super overpowered. And so far I have not really felt super overpowered enough to go down there. Because I know what shit lies down there. And I don't want to go down there unfair. Okay. Money that I can't really use. Sure. Actually, I have... I'm really dumb. I've had Ipecac. Yeah, you know, I'm shooting out explosive bombs as my tears, and I haven't been checking the walls. I've been using actual bombs for that. I guess that's another holdover from the challenge, because you you wouldn't do that, because it would come back and hit you in the face. Oh, hey, Mega Fatties. I gotta keep in mind that this is normal if attack, it's not gonna come back and hit me upside the head. Come on, die already. One more. Oh, hey, don't do that, that's rude. It's incredibly rude. Do you have any idea how rude that is? Get out of here. Oh. Hmm. Didn't notice the rock there. Alright. There's a chest there with... Haha, <laughs> no. Well, actually at this point... No, actually I want to take the Bible tracks for now. I don't actually want more. Thank you. More things that do more damage to me aren't things that I really want. Nice. What's in there? Bombs! Dang. That was gonna be how I got to the angel room. There's still a couple more chances to, depending on what the floors give me, or what the rooms give me. So far, not much that I can use. I'd still like to have a lot more keys than I have. Okay. That? Never actually sure if they're hitting the walls properly. Where is the super secret room, I wonder? Oh hey, conquest. By the way, I found out something kinda funny. Uh the crack the sky item, the one that's just a feather that you can see in the uh item room sometimes. The one that's kind of bad. Uh like, they have made it so that the beams normally like to be in the middle, but some will go outside of that. Uh, I learned that apparently if you use it against the horseman, you just instantly die. Like, I didn't find this out by, by experience or anything, but uh, it's a thing I learned. And I'm pretty glad I didn't find it out by experience. Somebody must have, though. But I didn't think that, that would be a thing that they would do. It's like... And I find it really odd, because it's like they nerfed a... An item that was already considered to be really bad. So it's like, oh, well, okay. There's another reason to not ever take it. Oh, rude, you stole my invincibility frame. Essentially. Alright, we'll take a key. Oh. Double B. 
Gertie Jr. Mini Gertie Juniors. Okay. Not there. Possibly over here. They, super secret rooms are often very close to the uh, to the boss rooms. Not quite sure why, but they very often are. Can't take that. I suppose I could step on that. All right, there was a chance for it to give me something. I'm gonna use an actual bomb. No. Okay. Lazarus versus Isaac. I've already taken my hit for the room. We'll stand up in this corner because that's safe. Oh, I got hit. That's a surprise, actually. I'll go back with that heart. And I guess I'm not completing the key this time. Unless the game has any smart ideas about opening an angel room here. Or randomly dropping a card for me. Alright, I think two more hits. No, a couple more. Isaac has more health than I thought. No. No. Alright. I have unlocked two things, apparently. I don't know how I unlocked the other one. Might just be a random chance sort of thing. But I unlocked Lazarus' rags, which is the item that makes him respawn. And something icky in the basement, which I believe is Triacnid as a boss. I don't really know exactly what unlocks that. All right, so if I had the full key here, it would have detached from me and unlocked this door, which, have, which would unlock a pretty special thing. But I'm still not going to say what it is. Pub Sprain, how about no? Book of Revelations. Rainbow Baby. Okay, we'll take Tough Love. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna take Montrose Lung because that sounds hilarious. And by hilarious, I mean incredibly dangerous. That's exactly what I mean by hilarious. Yes, I think I will like this quite a bit. Oh, I I really don't like how it does that. Get wrecked. They did apparently change this room so that it wasn't as likely to kill people in a recent patch. I really like when they show how powerful the bombs are by shaking the entire room when they explode. I think that's really cool. Oh no, I'm going for the full clear here. You little shit, though. I took damage! I took damage with against a fucking spider. No, no, no. You don't get to live. Silly you. Hi, Daddy Long Legs. Bye, Daddy Long Legs. Give me more chests. That would be terrific. Oh, right. Uh. Fuck that room. Are you kidding me? Uh. Right, there's nothing there. Uh. Fuck the hell out of that room when you don't have anything to deal with those. Oh, also, for all the hits I'm taking, 
I'm getting flies that do twice my damage. Which is to say, a lot of fucking damage. Alright. I think it can be pretty safely assured that there is no, uh, secret room there. Use the Book of Revelations to give us a heart, because that's all that we'll really use it for here. You know, for all these keys I'm getting, I sure am not getting anything to unlock with them. Oh, I wasn't fully charged. Now I am. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm alright with these other things, but I really like items. That's the entire point of the chest. Come on. Dead. Lover's card. How useless. Get killed. Give me a chest, please. Alright. Monster manual. Okay, so if I had uh, the sharp plug and the wafer, I could essentially get myself several... I could get myself at least two achievements right now, essentially. With the extra amount of health laying around, I think. Basically. Oh, dang. Too bad I don't get to keep that. Every time you use it, it gives you a random familiar for the room. So if you have a way to get infinite charges of it in the same room, for instance, with the sharp plug and the wafer, you can just keep using it and you can use that to get the, uh, the Meat Boy and Bandage Girl achievements. Because there's achievements for getting all four stages of those. You can get meat cubes and bandage balls out of that. That's the method that a lot of people use for it. Simply because it's fairly random to get them, ordinarily. And it's kind of rare to actually get all of those in one run. To get four, you know, essentially you'd have to fight all four horsemen in one run. And the odds of that are not particularly high. Oh, well, we know for a fact that that's not the secret room. I think we can prove that fairly easily. How about against this wall? Nope. Gotta be careful, because there's red poop in one of these rooms. This one? Yeah. I'm just gonna let my familiar shoot these boops for me. Okay, there it is. You're a hilarious game. I didn't actually know the missing page 2 could appear in the secret room. That's pretty silly, actually. I'm kinda disappointed at how many how few chests that I got this, uh, this in the chest here. Figured. Yeah. Yeah, you're a very funny game. Alright. Lazarus versus Blue Baby! Dead. Full cleared the chest. Let's go into the chest. I think this one actually tells more of the backstory than almost anything else in the game does, really.
of all the things that actually tell backstory in the game. The end. Store credit has appeared in the basement. Alright. So, La uh, Lazarus has now gone all the way up to the chest. We've unlocked a fair bit of good stuff. Let's see, who else has to go up? Eve, Blue Baby, Judas, one day, Maggie, and Eden, looks like. Okay, so we unlocked Lazarus' rags, which is essentially la the respawn item that Lazarus has. When you die, you respawn in the same room with the anemic item. And I think it tweaks your stats a little bit. Gives you, I think, a touch more damage? I'm not sure. But that's the thing. And then, uh... We unlocked... Uh, the store credit, which is a trinket, which when you hold it, and you walk in a, into a shop, every item is free! Until you buy one. It essentially lets you buy one free item, and then it disappears. So, I mean, it's pretty neat. It's like a trinket form of the credit card, except only in shops. And only for one item. Still can be pretty nice, though. But, uh, I am rambling. Next time, we'll do somebody. Somebody we haven't done. Probably up to the chest, unless I feel really super overpowered or something. Uh, we'll see. But, uh, that'll be a surprise to you and me. Only one way to find out who it'll be, that's to come back next time. So, before I keep rambling, until then, farewell. <laughs>